Hello and welcome to Give Him 15 for Sunday, December the 6th. The title of today's post is Some Encouragement from the Lord. In the dream I am about to relate to you, I represent the praying church intercessors. That is typical in the dreams the Lord has been giving people for me lately. It's not about me. It's about us. I did not have this dream. It was given to me by a man that I know and trust. Additionally, you will hear Jenna Ellis, a member of the president's legal team mentioned in the dream. As a disclaimer, I must tell you, I have not, I have never met with her nor have we ever communicated in any way. Here is the dream, together with a few comments from me uh, along the way as I, as I read it. I was driving, I, being, even though I didn't have the dream, this was me, I was driving, an older Infinity Q80 SUV that was bronze in color. There were four other people with me. We arrived, and all of them, by the way, were pra prayer intercessors or prophetic intercessors representing the ecclesia. We arrived at an older colonial-style house, which the dreamer later told me was the White House. As we exited the SUV, we discovered that one of the doors was jammed. The person sitting nearest the door pushed his shoulder against it and finally got it open. When we were all out of the SUV, we walked up to Jenna Ellis, one of the members of President Trump's legal team. She said, I can't believe you got that door open. That door hasn't been opened in years. This tells me, as I've think about the dream, there are doors that have been closed for years, one specifically, a door that's been closed for years, that God wants to use this situation, this election situation in the prayers of the church, because it was one of the intercessors that was able to knock it open. So there's a door that has, that has been closed for years that God wants to open through this situation and I'm praying into that as to what that means he continues the dream Jenna Ellis then said to us you have done well two states have flipped into the president's win column your assignment isn't over though we must have one more and it has to be a significant one I believe I Dutch speaking now, interpreting this, I believe this means our prayers will cause at least three states to come into alignment for President Trump. Two will flip first, and then there will be one more, a very significant one. Then in the dream, we left the White House and went to a river and boarded a boat named Mercy. We traveled down the river to another location where a large group of America's founding fathers were gathered. This pictures the fact that God is restoring us back to our covenant roots, to being a trumpet of the gospel of the kingdom to the ends of the earth. In other words, he's restoring us to our founding principles and beliefs through his mercy. He is resetting us to our purpose for which he created us as a nation. This, this is one of the reasons he needs President Trump in office for four more years. God needs a favorable person to his cause a person favorable to his cause in the White House. In the dream, 
the founders said to we who represent the praying church, the ecclesia, we knew you would come. Now that you're here, the victory is surely ours. Paraphrased, they were saying, this is the meaning, because the church is praying. He said, we knew you would come, and now that you're here, because the church is praying, America is going to win this battle. At this point in the dream, the crowd became silent, and George Washington came out of a nearby house. He was wearing his Revolutionary War uniform, and you could see bullet holes in his coat. He walked up to me in the dream and took off his hat. He then handed me the original Appeal to Heaven flag, which he had commissioned to be made. It was worn, tattered, and riddled with bullet holes. He looked at us and said, it still works. You, sir, are making our appeal to heaven certain, and America will be saved. Just incredible, isn't it? He said, it still works. The appeal to heaven still works. The Lord is clearly encouraging us and letting us know that as we intercede and recovenant this nation back to him, we will prevail. Proverbs 21, 21 and 22 from the Passion Translation says, The lovers of God who chase after righteousness will find all their dreams come true. An abundant life drenched with favor and a fountain that overflows with satisfaction. A warrior, and this, I want you to listen to this part very carefully. A warrior filled with wisdom ascends into the high place and releases regional breakthrough, bringing down the strongholds of the mighty. That's what we're doing. Some things for you to think about as you have your prayer time today. Thank the Lord for the encouragement he has given us through this and other dreams. Pray prayers of encouragement over your fellow members of the, of the, of the praying church, of, of the uh, intercessors. Break off any discouragement or wavering in their faith. Pray against that. Undergird one another in prayer. We must finish strong. Command miraculous doors to open. That's what he had to do in that dream. He had to knock it open. Command miraculous doors to open. Command ancient doors to open. Command doors to open that have been hard to get opened. Command plots hidden behind doors to get in the light and be exposed. Pray for President Trump's legal team. Pray for the right witnesses to come forth with the right complaints and with evidence that can be proven in court. And here is our prayer. You can agree with me today. God, thank you for the encouragement you gave us in this dream. We're in a battle for the soul of this nation, recovenanting with you and believing to see every promise you have given us fulfilled. The sons of the kingdom, your ecclesia, the praying church, are the key ingredient to all of this. We are your radiant ones, joyful in the battle, filled with faith, and looking for you to do miracles on our behalf. We are lovers of God who are chasing after righteousness for America. We will see all of our godly dreams come true. We are warriors clothed in your wisdom who will ascend to the high places and bring down every stronghold 
of the mighty. This is what you have decreed. You have put your decrees in our mouths and we have released them as the sword of the spirit, the sword of the Lord. We are seeing miraculous doors opened. We are seeing darkness exposed. We are seeing favor for the legal teams. We call forth those witnesses with factual evidence that can be proven in court. We call for the truth. We are seeing all these things in response to our appeal to heaven. We are joining our prayers with those of our forefathers. And we are going to win this battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And today's decree. We are lovers of God who are chasing after righteousness through intercession. We will see all of our dreams for America come true. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me today.